Peerless kitchen faucets come in a variety of styles, but all are very simple to install on your own. While they can be used in many different situations, this video will demonstrate installing a single-handle pull-down faucet on a counter with an undermount sink. The installation may vary slightly depending on your situation, and whether you have previous holes will determine if you use an escutcheon to cover them. There are a few tools and supplies that you will need to install the faucet. You will need an adjustable wrench, a 3 seconds inch Allen wrench, and a Phillips head screwdriver. In the box, you will find the faucet, hose weight, and the gasket, washer, and nut. Be sure to also read all of the printed instructions found in the box. Before you begin your installation, you will need to shut off all water supplies and remove the old faucet, which we have already done. Also, make sure you have a clean area free of debris. To begin, first attach your faucet. Since our sink has three holes, we will use a wide escutcheon. If you are using an escutcheon, make sure that the gasket is properly seated under the escutcheon, then place it on the sink. Install the lock nuts onto the studs and tighten securely by hand. Insert your peerless faucet through the escutcheon in the mounting hole and secure the valve with the gasket, washer, and the threaded nut on the mounting shank. Then, hand tighten the nut onto the shank and lock the nut into position by tightening the screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Make sure the escutcheon is centered under the faucet and parallel to the wall or backsplash and adjust if needed. Next, attach the water supplies. Be sure the pullout is oriented as shown and attach the pullout hose by firmly pushing it onto the faucet outlet until it clicks. Make sure all fittings and end connections are free of debris. The faucet connections are 3 8 inch compression fittings. Secure the metal nut on the faucet supply hoses to the supply valve connection and hand tighten. Then tighten one additional revolution with the wrench. Make sure you do not over tighten. Repeat for the other hose connection. Make sure that the hose with the hot label is connected to the hot supply valve and the other hose is connected to the cold supply valve. Do not use pipe dope or other sealants on water connections. Now, flush the water lines. Turn on the hot and cold water supplies. Then remove the sprayer assembly and pull the hose assembly out of the spout, holding the end of the hose down into the sink. Turn the faucet to the full-on mixed position and flush the water lines for one minute. Then reinstall the sprayer assembly. Attach the hose weight. Disassemble the hose weight by loosening the two screws. Press the hose weight to the hose assembly at least 14 inches from the hose fitting and retighten the screws. Adjust the hose weight for easier hose return and make sure the copper inlet tubes do not interfere with the spray hose assembly. The hose assembly should pull freely through the spout hub. Check all connections for leaks. Last, install the soap dispenser. If you wish to install the soap dispenser, sold separately, insert the body assembly and pump through the selected hole in the sink and secure with the nut. Then, screw the bottle onto the body assembly shank. To fill, lift the head and pump assembly out of the bottle and pour no more than 8 ounces of liquid soap. Following all of these steps will ensure a proper and secure insulation, allowing you to enjoy your Peerless faucet for years to come.